Hey fam, welcome once again. God bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. This is Chantal Ikabe, always coming to you with the word. And today I want to share this word as the Lord laid it on my spirit. And this is a word for you. So please listen to this word. God is going to speak to you as you listen to this word. This is your word. Hallelujah. God has been speaking to me about obedience. You got to be willing to obey. You have to obey. If you must make it, if you must succeed, if you must get there, if you must accomplish those goals if you must finish the task you have to be willing to obey the lord says obedience is the key god says obedience it's the key it's the key hallelujah and so this is a message for someone right now maybe your own obedience has to do with something that is very very hard something that is very difficult for you to do something that you're struggling with god has spoken to you about it a long time ago but it's so hard for you to do it because it's something that you love something that you're holding on to so dear the lord is saying the only way that you are going to step into that next level the only way that you are going to be blessed the only way that you are going to access that open door that you are going to receive what you've been praying for is if you obey that voice that has spoken to you concerning that thing. Has God asked you to let go? Let it go. That is where your blessings will come from. Until a door closes, another is not going to open. And so if God is saying to you, let it go, and all you need is to obey, it means he's about to open to you a new door. Now, obedience has to do with trust in the Lord. A lot of times we find it so hard to obey God because we are not able to trust that he can do it. We are not able to trust that he can bless us much more, that a better can come for us. But I'm here to challenge you to start obeying obeying today and trusting God and you watch how he's going to turn things around for good in your life now the Bible tells us that anything that is not done in faith is a sin that tells us that we are required to live a life of faith and to act by faith in everything you do let faith be seen by God hallelujah and so when you don't get to act by faith it means that you are holding on to something that is more precious than God or than the word of God that has been spoken that has to also do with obedience when you obey God you're acting by faith you know when you walk by faith you are obeying God also that is you know they go hand in hand so I want you these days to start having faith in what God has spoken to you and also to trust him and obey him this three works together if you are able to do this by the help of the Holy Spirit because the Bible says not by power not by might but by my spirit if you are able to do this i guarantee you there's a whole lot that would change in your life my life began to change when i began to learn and trust god more and obey him sometimes it's gonna be very hard family when the lord speaks to you what he's gonna ask you to do will seem so hard but it's in your obedience that God will bless you. The Bible says to obey is better than to sacrifice. What is it that the Lord has laid on your heart to do for a very long time and you've been resisting it? You've been running away from it. You've been procrastinating or postponing it. God is saying this is the time. Step in. Obey. Hallelujah. Just go on and obey that which he has asked you to do and watch things change in your life. Watch things transform in your life. I want to read to you this scripture before we go. This is very important. I'm going to read from Deuteronomy chapter 5 and verse 33. The Bible says, walk in obedience to all that the Lord your God has commanded you so that you may live and prosper and prolong your days in the land that you will possess. Hallelujah. That is what obedience does. It causes us to live and prosper and also to live long. Notice what the Bible says. And the only commandment that comes with a promise that should be the fourth commandment in the Bible has to do with honor to your father and your mother. In other words, obey them. And it says that when you do that, you shall live long. Your days shall be added. You shall live long here on earth. Hallelujah. So you see the power of obedience. The power of obedience to the Lord. A lot of times we want to obey when things are fine. No, that is not the time for you to obey. 
obey when things are bad obey when things are tight obey when things are not moving and you watch how god is going to change your life he's going to open that door i'm here to challenge somebody who've been struggling with obedience has the lord called you has the lord sent you there has the lord asked you to do something and you've been postponing it god wants you to do it now obey him dare to obey and watch how things are going to change for good i'm also speaking to myself because this is something that god has laid on my heart so the word comes first to us and then through us hallelujah so god is challenging us this day obey trust me i'm telling you the truth sometimes it can be very hard you know um like you feel so you feel like this is going to cost me so much but until it costs you so much it's not going to bless you so much. Always remember that until it costs you so much, it wouldn't bless you so much. Thank you very much. God bless you. If this was a blessing, please don't forget to like it um, and also share with somebody that is going to need it. I believe it's going to be a blessing to them. Subscribe if you are new. Thank you so much. God bless you.